31. How does paragraph 9 fit into the overall structure of the excerpt? Okay, overall structure, we're thinking transition. We just looked at this in the last question. Paragraph 9 is where the lightning strikes at the end of the paragraph. So then the whole herd stampedes and everything becomes dangerous. Before that, things were tense. The mood was, you know, at, at on edge. So let's see what answer choice picks this up. It hints at the change in the setting that Wade, that caused Wade to suddenly become alert. Okay, well, there is a change, but it's not really a hint. The lightning strikes at the end of paragraph nine. So it's not really hinting a change in the setting. There is a change in the setting. And Wade, was he alert before this? Yeah, possibly. I mean, he was already singing songs, trying to get the herd to go in a circle. I don't think he was aloof or just not caring. He was somewhat alert before this. So A is not correct. The only correct part about this is that there is a change here. And again, the answer to these questions, typically you want to focus on the transition or change. B, it creates a false sense of claim that shows how unprepared the men were for what was about to happen. A false sense of calm. Well, paragraph 9 doesn't show a false sense of calm. And they were not calm. That's just factually incorrect. The paragraphs from 5 on showed they were tense. So B is incorrect. C. It indicates that Wade was a skillful leader in unpredictable circumstances. How does paragraph 9 show Wade is skillful? I mean, he kept the herd going in a circle or really just noticed it, right? Uh, he knew a storm was coming when he felt a moist wind on his face but he really couldn't do anything about it. So was he skillful? I don't think there are any words in that really say he was a skillful leader at this point. Again, at the end, they save the day. But does that mean he's a skillful leader? And in fact, it was the horse that saved the day, not even Wade. C is not the right answer. So hopefully now D is going to be the correct answer because it's the only option left. It presents the incident that caused the main conflict Wade and Peroxide Jim addressed. Yes, so the incident is the lightning strike at the end of paragraph 9. Let's go up and just confirm that. The end of paragraph 9. He must keep them going. He trusts his horse to ride with him. When across the black sky flashed a vivid streak of lightning at the end of paragraph 9. Then after that, there was a snort from the steers and Wade was riding for his life. They started stampeding. So... 31 D describes this in abstract terms, the incident. Well, the incident refers to this, the flash of lightning that caused weight and peroxide, the main conflict. Again, that's very abstract, so you might not put it together and think that's the right answer. But main conflict is the fact that there was a stampede and Wade and his horse were about to be run off the cliff. That's a main conflict of what happened after that. So be wary of these abstract words that mean something concrete or direct from the text. Just because it's abstract doesn't mean it's wrong. That's something you're going to have to detect and work through on every problem, more or less, throughout the reading exam. Connecting the abstract answer choice, in most cases, to the actual text, what it refers to. Correct answer for the 31 is D.